Hello and welcome everyone to this eCognition Deconstructed video. Today we're going to talk about the NDSM layer calculation algorithm. It calculates the normalized digital surface model. So NDSM stands for normalized digital surface model. And what you need to have to calculate the NDSM is a digital surface model, a DSM and a DTM, a digital terrain model. And you simply subtract the DTM from the DSM. So what is a DSM? It's a digital surface model. This one depicts the height of the terrain and the features. Right? So it's the height above sea level. That means that the building can have a height of 1,205 meters, even though it's just five meters high, right? But it's 1,200 meters above sea level. On the other hand, the DTM, that stands for Digital Terrain Model. The Digital Terrain Model gives you the elevation of the terrain. So without the features on top. So that really gives you the elevation above sea level for the terrain. For this example, it would look something like the blue line. Let's have a look how to calculate the NDSM. So I said before, the formula is pretty straightforward. A DSM minus DTM, so the surface model minus the terrain model equals the normalized digital surface model. And again, the DSM represents the absolute height values of the surface. Okay, So it captures the natural and built features on the Earth's surface. On the other hand, the DTM, the terrain model, represents absolute height values of the terrain. So without these natural and built features on the Earth's surface. And finally, our NDSM, the normalized digital surface model, represents relative height above the ground. And this additional layer really helps you discriminate elevated and non elevated features, especially helpful if you're looking for buildings or trees um, or something elevated. Good, let's have a look at an eCognition project and see how it works in eCognition itself. Here we go. So we have a project with already a DTM and, and a DSM and we have RGB as well. So optical data and elevation information. Um, on the left hand side here you see the optical data set and on the right hand side the what is it the dsm right so you see the terrain elevation plus the features on the terrain okay what we want to do now is calculate the ndsm and then i'm going to show you how you could use it in a rule set to extract certain features that's the dtm actually on the right hand side now um, so you see it's really the terrain, you see the road, you don't see the buildings or the trees. And on the other hand, the DSM depicts the elevation of the terrain as well as the elevation of the features. Let's have a look at the rule set. First thing I'm doing here is actually using the copy map algorithm and reduce the spatial resolution because the spatial resolution of my DSM and DTM layers are different compared to my optical data. The idea is to adapt the spatial resolution to the resolution of the DSM and DTM. So first I create a map and reduce the spatial resolution. I have a second map now and I only copy the DSM and DTM and on this map I'm going to calculate the NDSM so it fits the spatial resolution of the input. Now we want to calculate the NDSM so we're going to use the NDSM layer calculation algorithm. It's this one here. I'm going to open it up. So it's called NDSM layer calculation. And you simply have to define what is your DSM layer? What is your DTM layer? Uh, output name by default is NDSM 32 bit float. Leave that default. And that's going to calculate automatically the NDSM. And in the NDSM, all the ground points or the, the, the pixels, they should be close to zero. Right? And buildings or things that are elevated should have positive values. In this case, you see the buildings have uh, higher values and the terrain has lower values. And you also see the comparison between DSM now and the NDSM. Because my results uh, look a bit pixelated, I applied a median filter uh, so it looks a bit more smooth 
and then I'm gonna send this NDSM back to my main map and delete the, the map that I created, the copy map for the NDSM calculation. Then I have a clean project and the NDSM in my main map. All right, last step, delete the sec map. So I only have my main map now. Okay, that looks promising. So now we actually can use the NDSM layer um, that you see at the bottom for classification, segmentation, whatever you want to do, right? And I'm gonna show you a quick approach um, simply using the NDSM layer to classify your image. The algorithm that I'm using here is the multi-threshold segmentation. And in the first step, I discriminate elevated and non-elevated based on a simple threshold, right? And the advantage of this multi-threshold segmentation algorithm is that it does the segmentation and classification in one step. So this is the classification into elevated and non-elevated. So the purple areas are elevated and the white areas are non-elevated. And I'm simply gonna swipe here. So everything that is higher than two meters, that was my definition in this segmentation algorithm, is classified into the elevated class. And then in the second step, I removed small objects and then I applied multi-threshold segmentation again and went into the elevated class and said, all right, reclassify this one into different height classes, okay? So I get in one step, actually one execution to four different classes, low, medium, high, and super high. That's just uh, randomly made up classes. And that's now the final classification for this exercise. That runs really fast and gives you a very nice uh, classification. So you actually could improve the classification now using the optical information as well and say everything that is green is probably vegetation and the buildings are not green. So you could discriminate vegetation, non-vegetation and adding this elevation information into that equation allows you to discriminate buildings and vegetation easily. All right, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hear you next time. <laughs>